Hi guys, today we are reviewing the best cameras for YouTube and vlogging. You can find the links of the products featuring in this video in the description. Fuss for YouTubing never looks so steady or fitted so easily in pockets and hands. The DJI Osmo Pocket is effectively an all-in-one camera combo, capable of capturing up to 4K footage and 12 megapixels photos with silky smooth stabilization, despite being absolutely tiny. It records onto micro SD cards and has a small screen, so YouTubers and vloggers can frame their footage perfectly. If you need a bigger viewfinder it also connects to DJI's app for iOS and Android, delivering even more granular control with the wireless adapter. Out of the box there are undeniable limitations, which is unsurprising given the pocket's size. There's no external mic input, the lens isn't action camera wide, and there aren't any mounting options for time-lapse video, which the pocket is capable of shooting. Having said that, DJI has thought things through, and additional accessories open you up to a world of better audio, and even waterproofing, if you're prepared to kit your Osmo Pocket out. One of the best mirrorless all-rounders, especially at its price point, the Fujifilm X-S10 makes for one of the best YouTube cameras, because of its great video specs and versatility. You get a fantastic 26.1 megapixel X Trans CMOS 4 sensor, paired with an X Processor 4 which facilitates some of its top video functions, like 4K at 30p video recording. There's also the ability to use an external mic source. The option to output 4 is to 2 is to 2 10 bit video, full HD at up to 240p for a slow motion effect, and a great in body image stabilization system. All of that comes in a package which is stylish and easy to use, and as a bonus, it also takes great stills when you're not using it for your YouTube escapades. It's also available at a great price, considering the specs you get inside. The Sony A6600 is the ultimate camera for anyone who wants to shoot video all day along with as little battery swapping or charging as possible. Its NPFC 100 battery can record for in excess of 3 hours at a time, that's 3 times, as long as the video capture time of the Canon EOS M6 Mark II and roughly 5 times, as long as cinema cameras like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. It's also one of the first Sony A-series cameras to feature a fully articulating screen, and while microphone ports are commonplace now, the A6600 also has a headphone jack, so you can monitor your audio. Well the A6600 is anything but cheap, given that it has in-body stabilization, and can record unlimited 4K, if you've got the money and want the ultimate vlogging camera this could well be it. With its 32.5 megapixel sensor, the Canon EOS M6 Mark II sports the highest resolution of any APS Type-C camera. It's also the first mirrorless stills camera from Canon to capture on cropped 4K video, a boon for YouTubers who need a wide angle for vlogging. With dual pixel AF, it's also a great choice for solo shooters, who don't have a camera person on hand keeping everything looking sharp. As with the original M6 there's no viewfinder, which will suit YouTubers just fine, and the screen flips out, visible over the top of the camera. This isn't much use if you intend on using the hot shoe for a shotgun mic, but if you have a lav mic for audio, it's a great setup. With a microphone jack and a USB-C port, it's off to a good start from a connection's point of view, and while Canon doesn't have a wide range of lenses for the M6 Mark II's EFM mount, with the addition of an inexpensive adapter the camera can take EF lenses, although still with that APS-C 1.6x crop factor. The Sony ZV-1 delivers pretty much everything the roaming YouTuber needs, all in a pleasingly compact package. Sony's class-leading real-time tracking and real-time IF systems will keep you in focus as you move around the frame, while the bright lens and large 1-inch sensor size mean clear, crisp images in most conditions, as well as attractive background bokeh, both something of a rarity on pocket-sized cameras. You'll find thoughtful touches everywhere. The hot shoe can accommodate an external mic or LED light without blocking the side flipping touchscreen. The video record button is much larger than on regular compacts, and a built in ND filter helps you to shoot smooth movement on brighter days. It even offers a feature aimed specifically at reviews based YouTubers, Product Showcase, which quickly alters settings for optimal shooting of objects with the YouTube live streaming support. It's not completely flawless, the touchscreen controls are a little limited, and Sony's stuck with the aging micro USB, rather than a more versatile USB-C port. The video stabilization also falls just short of the best, and there's no weatherproofing either. But unless you're mostly shooting out in challenging conditions, it's the best pocket YouTube camera around. 
the Sony RX100 Mark 7 looks virtually identical to its predecessor. But with the newer version you get a microphone input, not to mention a faster sensor packing Sony's latest autofocus, complete with newly added eye tracking. With its articulating screen that faces forward and down, it's excellent for vlogging, and with a nice wide 24mm lens that goes all the way out to 200mm, it delivers more versatility than the competition too. The key differentiator for any YouTuber between the RX100 Mark 7 and most of its competition is the maximum 4K capture time. Well by default it captures a maximum of 5 minutes of 4K footage, jump into the settings, and set the auto power off temp option to high, and it can record for much longer in excess of 1 hour. One of the biggest bugbears vloggers and video makers have with Canon is the crop factor when shooting 4K on many of its cameras, but the G7X Mark III bucks the trend. This high-end compact packs a similar body and an identical lens to the G7X Mark II, but includes a new sensor and number 4K crop. It was also the first camera of its kind with a microphone input, which is vital if you want clean audio, not to mention the ability to live stream straight to YouTube. This means that even if you've got an expensive cinema camera, if you also have a G7X Mark III, you can create a fuss-free live setup without any expensive capture cards and a PC. With its flip-out screen, the G7X3 also gives vloggers a clear view of themselves when they shoot, and thanks to its 20.1 megapixel 1-inch stack CMOS sensor and Digicate processor, it's also able to capture great stills, so your custom thumbnails can pop nicely. If you are a pro, then we have also made a separate video on the best action cameras that might be interesting for you. We will leave the link in the description. Thank you for watching so far, and we hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more reviews. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time.